Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to access console mode for a Honeywell Home tuxedo keypad. Um, just to get right into it, uh, we're at the tuxedo, security, and we'll choose the more choices icon on the right, and then there's console mode, and now we're in console mode. And now um, it will kick us out of console mode in a second um, because I'm not going to do anything on the keypad for a minute or so. But uh, just to tell you what console mode is, um, it, it's basically a programming mode for your tuxedo keypad. Um, it allows the tuxedo to mimic um, uh, an alphanumeric keypad like the 6160RF right here. Um, so it, it has the same layout. Um, you see the numeric keypad on the screen. It says disarmed, ready to arm. And this one also says disarmed, ready to arm, uh, because these are both connected with the same Vista system right, right down here. So um, you'll, you'll basically be using your tuxedo as an alphanumeric keypad, which is needed for programming the system, changing various settings. Um, you can do various things in console mode that you can't do through the tuxedo menus. Um, so it's a great way to have your keypad, your tuxedo keypad, act as an alphanumeric keypad. Uh, don't confuse it with a fixed English keypad like the 6150. Um, if you try to program your Vista system using a, a, a fixed English keypad, you'll be operating blindly and you, you are prone to making a mistake. So we really only recommend programming using a traditional alphanumeric keypad or a console or a tuxedo in, uh, in console mode. Uh, so those are both good options. Um, the one thing you can't do on a tuxedo, uh, you won't be able to load console mode quickly enough to perform the backdoor method. So you can't get into programming if you're locked out using a tuxedo. That's why it's, it's a good idea to keep a 6150 or a 6160 around just in case you get locked out of programming. Um, but I will uh, show zone programming um, in console mode just to show something off in, in it. Uh, again, we'll choose security, the more choices, the three little buttons there, three dots, I guess, and then console mode. And now, uh, so let's uh, demonstrate console mode. So uh, let's get into programming. Uh, we're going to enter in our installer code, which is at the default of 4112. And then we'll enter in 800. And then it's going to have a little bit of a lag compared to uh, the, uh, the alphanumeric keypad. But you see, they both say installer code 20. Like I said, they're both uh, connected with the same Vista system. So they're doing the same thing there. Um, so we'll get into zone programming. So star 56. And uh, we're going to choose zero um, when it asks us to set to confirm. For, we'll choose no. Um, this is just basic zone programming. I won't go too in depth in this, but uh, we'll enter in zone zero 09 to uh, work on that zone. We'll choose star. And then it's going to give us a little summary screen there. We'll just continue beyond that, pressing star. Uh, for the zone type, we'll choose zero 01 for entry exit one. Um, that's, the one that's the zone type we'll use. We'll choose star. And we'll set it to partition one, star. And uh, we'll press star to continue past the report code. And for the input type for RF transmission, uh, we're, we're fine with uh, three, so we'll press star. And now it's uh, asking us to uh, learn in the serial number. Uh, we have a Honeywell 5816 uh, door and window contact sensor. Um, it's going to program using loop number two for the read switch, but we'll separate this. And there we go, we got it to go through. Um, so you see um, we have the serial number and the loop number displayed on the screen. Uh, we're fine with the loop number two because we're using the read switch, and that's the serial number for the sensor. So we'll press star. And you see this is just like uh, using an alphanumeric keypad um, for uh, programming. So press star again, get the summary screen. And uh, we're not going to program the alpha today. Um, that, that's basically the zone descriptor for the sensor. Um, if you want to give it a name, you can do that. But uh, we're fine with zero, so we'll just press star. And now we're, we're back at the, the screen here. Um, I didn't want to go to the next one. Um, so um, we'll just uh, press 0, 0 to quit uh, zone programming. And then it's asking us the field. And we'll enter star. And then we'll enter 99. And once I do this, it is going to reboot the keypad. Because whenever you exit programming um, in console mode, or even, even on the regular keypad, even if you were using this and then this would, was in console mode, just because you put it in console mode and then switched over to this, I could, I could actually swap between these two while programming. Um, you'll, you'd see when I exit programming, it does reboot the tuxedo. Um, that's normal. So when it reloads, it'll have the settings applied. Um, but that's basically what console mode is. It's just basically um, a way to um, program your system um, change various settings, you can get into all the programming fields and, and do whatever you need to, just like if you were using an alphanumeric keypad. Um, that's, that's what uh, the console mode is. So uh, 
we'll let this uh, boot up for a second here, and then I'll, I'll show you that the zone was programmed, um, just to give you a quick little uh, demonstration of what we did in programming, um, that our changes were applied, uh, they, they were automatically saved when we did the uh, star 99 to exit. And remember to always use star 99 to exit, uh, don't use a different way to exit, or you will become locked out of programming, and, and that's bad. But our tuxedo is uh, back at the, the screen here, and so we have our um, door and window contact sensor, our 5816, and uh, so the magnet would be placed on the moving portion of the door or window, and we separate it from the sensor, the door is opened, and you see we get the fault on the system because we do have it properly programmed as an entry exit zone. Um, the system is not really going to do anything with it, with it in a disarmed state, but if it were armed, we would have to disarm within our entry delay period or else an alarm would occur on the system. But again, the door is closed right now, and we open the door, and we get the fault on the, the system just to show you that we did do something in console mode. So uh, that's how you access console mode on a Honeywell Home tuxedo keypad. Uh, you choose security, you use the more choices, and then you choose console mode, and then you're in console mode, and you can do whatever you need to in console mode there. So if you have any questions about console mode or the Honeywell Home um, tuxedo keypad, um, the Residio tuxedo keypad, um, the Honeywell Vista systems, or alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.